Each year, there's about 15 million acres of forest that are turned into wood products. There's been 300 million acres that have been deforested since the 1990s. That same 300 million acres at current planting rates would cost $100 billion to replant. The reason that we started this business is to make a dent in carbon emissions. And trees far and away are our best source to do that. There are no machines currently that humans have that can do that better and more efficiently. We think that robotics is a way to make reforestation truly scalable. Our end objective is using drones to plant tree seeds. We are paid per acre to plant tree seeds, spray to protect them, and then monitor their growth. This is a big drone. We call it Big Boy. <laughs> so we have one drone, eight feet right here, uh, three gallons payload. Imagine 15 of those on this road right here. That's how we see us able to address a large forestry unit, both for spraying as well as planting in the future. It's a high-powered paintball gun, essentially. It's pressure, air pressure pneumatics firing a tree seed capsule into the ground. Right now, forestry companies, they spend millions recruiting the labor to go out there and plant trees. Good tree planter can replant somewhere between 800 trees a day, which is about two acres. One person with 15 drones could do the equivalent of 360 manual labor hours of tree planting or spraying in a day. We use a seed, so there's no nursery, there's no need for a refrigerated supply chain, and it's not an issue for us to put 80 to 200 different species into the hopper and then spray them all over the ground. It is a step function, it's a disruptive technology. We are already in beta as far as a software platform that allows one operator to manage 15 drones simultaneously. And then that takes us into a whole game changer as far as the economics of reforestation, which is what we're super excited about. Drone Seed is the most important company working today in carbon sequestration through forestry. Do you believe that, that CO2 is changing the global climate? If you do, then carbon sequestration has to be a part of the global climate solution. If you have an automation company that makes it orders of magnitude less expensive to plant and grow trees, that's going to be part of the global carbon sequestration solution. It has to be. So that's, I think, the, the big idea for drone seed is could they be a foundational player in driving down the cost of saving the climate? Replanting 300 million acres that's been deforested since 1990, that is a major step forward in reducing carbon emissions. What you can envision for the future is that one operator managing 15 drones, replanting post wildfire or take it globally. There's been a lot of slash and burn agriculture. So how do you then go out and replant those in a cost effective way? And that's where our technology comes in. At Drone Seed, we're trying not to lose the forest for the trees. Basically, like, I've got time on this planet, and I want to work on a problem that's worth solving. And to me, it absolutely makes sense to go out there and focus on the biggest thing that's threatening humanity. If the environment's not working, no social, political, or economic system is working. So that's why it's so important to get in there and plant. 